Chazal say that you will not really understand your Rebbe for 40 years. So I want to make a recommendation to those people watching this video that in 40 years' time, mark it on your calendar, that you re-watch it and hopefully you'll understand uh, what I'm talking about here. I used to go to a yeshiva called Eish Torah in uh, the old city of Yerushalayim. And the people from our yeshiva would schlep in tourists to meet the Rosh Yeshiva. One time they slept in this guy named Freddy. And they brought him into Reb Nock's office. Reb Nock said, nice to meet you. My name's Noah. What's your name? The guy says, my name's Freddy. So Reb Nock asked him, uh, Freddy West. He said, my name's Freddy Katz. So Reb Nock said, Katz, you're not by any chance a coin, are you? And Freddy goes, yes, I am a coin. How did you know? Reb Nock goes, just a lucky guess. But if you're a coin, I would like you to give me a bracha right now. Give me a blessing. So Freddy's sitting there. He goes, oh, what are you talking about? Reb Nock, come, come right now. Put your hands on my head, like the Kohen do. I want a bracha right now. So you can imagine, you've got this tourist, a non-religious Jew, traveling through from America. And Reb Noach gets him up, makes him, forces him to put his hands on his head. And he goes, I want a bracha right now. You're a Kohen? Give me a bracha. So Freddie goes, um, uh, here he's got this rabbi with a long white beard. You can imagine a big black hat. So Freddie goes, uh, I, I give you a blessing that you should be successful in your work and God should, should be good to you. So Rav Nock goes, thanks very much, I appreciate it. So he says, was that blessing from you? Who was that blessing from? So, so Freddie thinks, he goes, from the guy upstairs? And Rav Nock says, exactly, you got it. Freddie, of course, felt very important and joined the yeshiva and he actually ended up being religious. When I heard the story from Freddie himself, I always thought that Reb Noach had done this as sort of a bit of a way to make Freddie feel important about himself, so he would become religious. That was until I heard a Devar Torah about this week's Parsha Vayera from Rabbi Haber. Rabbi Yaakov Haber said that what happened was these three visitors came to visit Avraham and Sarah, and they looked like idol worshippers, but they actually were angels, but Avraham didn't know that. And they gave Avraham a blessing. They said, Avraham, we give you a blessing that in one year, your wife Sarah will have a son. Now Sarah overheard this, and she started laughing. And Hashem got upset. He just complained to Avraham, why is she laughing? So Rav Haver asked a great question. He said, it would seem that Sarah had a good point. First of all, she's 89 years old at this time, and barren for all her life. Avraham is 99 years old. He never had a child with her. And... An idol worshiper, the blue comes up and gives them a, a blessing that they're going to have a child in a year. I mean, it would be understandable that Sarah would laugh. So what Rabbi Haber explained is, we never underestimate the, pow underestimate the power of a bracha. When somebody gives you a blessing, you have no idea who this person is. They may not look like much, look like an idol worshiper. But this person, who knows what sechus, what merit they had. Maybe the person did some great mitzvah, they saved somebody's life at some time earlier. Who knows? And so too, this lesson, you, you meet a person you have no idea what merit they have. We can come back to the story with Freddie Katz. When Rav Noach asked, Freddie, give me a blessing, put your hands on my head, I want a blessing. Yes, he was trying to make Freddie feel important. But in addition, Rav Noach said, if you give me a bracha, the power of a blessing, who knows? Freddie, you may have a great success, a great merit, and I want to benefit from your blessing. I want to wish everybody a good Shabbos.